Advanced ENT and allergy. It's probably a number you need to put on your refrigerator this time of year. Yes, indeed. The River Valley has problems with allergies, et cetera. If you suffer, then these are the experts to my left. Let me introduce them one at a time. Here we go. First, Dr. Casey Hay. Dr. Hay, thank you for coming in. Thank Appreciate you. you. Dr. Michelle Byerly, welcome, Dr. Byerly. And also, Joanna Harris, who is a nurse practitioner and a member of the team. All of these folks here are experts in their field. In fact, let's kick it off that way. Let's talk about each of you and what you do, your area of expertise. So, Dr. Hay. Sure. I am a general otolaryngologist, is the long name for ENT. And I practice out of our Dixie Highway location, a New Albany location. We have several locations throughout Louisville and Indiana. All right. Dr. Barley? I am a clinical audiologist and I work with hearing and balance patients. And I'm mostly in our Breckenridge Lane location, but I do the specialized testing to help evaluate patients for dizziness. Yeah, and we're going to talk about that today because okay. I do know folks who suffer from that. And it makes sense to me because when you talk about ears and imbalances, that, that makes sense to me. Joanna, all right, now you have a, you're, you're an interesting story here because you have a couple of areas I'm an of expertise. Yeah. No, it's a good add on. I'm, uh, I've been a nurse since 2005, and I actually worked in neurology for primary primarily most of my career and um, I became a nurse practitioner in 2017 and came over to advanced ENT and allergy a little over a year ago to work in specifically dizziness. All right, so here we go. And that is the focus today. We're going to talk about dizziness and how it ties into what you guys do. So I'll go to you first, Dr. Hay. So how does dizziness correlate with ear, nose, and throat? Yes, so <coughs> dizziness itself is a really difficult thing to treat. One thing about that is because there's so many different reasons why you can feel dizzy. So we are experts in evaluating and treating dizziness that's coming from the balance system in our inner ear. But you can have dizziness from many other things like vision problems, neck and back problems, blood pressure, blood sugar, nerve issues, anxiety, uh, even headaches, migraines. That's why it's really hard to get diagnoses and get effective treatment. So let's assume this, Dr. Barley. Okay, you, you go into advanced ENT and allergy. They diagnose you, they figure out, okay, where the issue is. What kind of treatments are available? Well, it, there are several things that can be done. The, pretty much the only thing that I do in, in my department is if they have some, um, a condition called benign paroxysmal positioning vertigo. That's where you have some loose calcium crystals uh, in the inner ear, and a lot of people have that. We treat that, we evaluate it the same day and treat it the same day in the office. And then if they need further testing or they don't have that, then one of the physicians will order further testing that we do in my department. Joanna, these people who do suffer from dizziness, what, what kind of obstacles do they face? How does it affect their lives? Well, dizziness is really challenging because I think the biggest problem is trying to describe how you're feeling because it's not something you can actually see. It's not like you have a broken leg or a broken arm. Um, dizziness is really complicated it can, because it can come from so many different aspects, trying to describe how you're actually feeling and then trying to know who to actually go to to see to be evaluated. So I think that's the biggest, one of the biggest challenges. And we're lucky to have advanced ENT and allergy in town because these are the experts. And I, I think really nationwide, if you had to, you know, to come up with an answer for why you're dizzy, these, these folks would know. So let's talk before, before some of these advanced treatments, how was somebody with dizziness, if they came into a doctor, how were they treated? It seems like, you know, you start usually with your primary care, which is the appropriate place to start in many cases. But then, as we said, since there's so many factors that can go into it, it really becomes okay, who are you going to see? They kind of sign off on you, send you to somebody else, they sign off on you, and, it, and I think people get really frustrated going through that process, which is why we wanted to create a space for people to come and help make things more simple and straightforward and guide that process a little more directly. I like that. I think people like direct answers. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is a little bit personal here, but I have to ask you, Dr. Byerly, so, so when I was young, I had a lot of ear issues, and of course then we didn't have experts like yourself. So, and to this day, I get seasick very easy, I have motion sickness of any kind, I can't ride rides, all that kind of thing, and I've talked to a number of people who suffer from that. Could that possibly be because I had these ear issues that I did not deal with when I was younger? I mean, yes, it could have been. I feel like that a lot of people have motion sensitivity for various reasons, and then 
personally, I feel like that causes them to have maybe other types of inner ear issues later on in life. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly having untreated ear issues, you know, can cause bigger problems later on with just balance in general. So you guys actually have an allergy dizzy clinic. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, so tell me about that. So, it, this tells me, lends me to believe that this must be a common issue. Correct. It's very common. Yes, we so, get these patients frequently. So, how does it work? Do all three of you like work in tandem together? How does it work as far as why is this the place to go if you suffer from dizziness due to allergies or whatever? When you come in for your first appointment across the board, you're seen by one of our ENT physicians and evaluated in that way. So they're making sure your ears are healthy, there's no issues that need to be corrected. Do the testing with our audiologists that are in the office that day. And then as Michelle said, some things we can fix right away and people feel better that day when they leave. For the people that aren't feeling better, we have special testing and Joanna to finish the process and make sure they get to where they want to be. And, and Joanna, you're special in that you also have a, a field of expertise in neurology, correct? Right. So how is that associated with perhaps dizziness? Yeah, so a lot of people come in with dizziness that is not explained because of positional vertigo, and so we have to kind of weed out what other issues are going on. And a lot of times dizziness can be caused by something like migraine. And so we talk to them about headache and other issues like that. And then if it's something that we can't address in our office, then we can make sure that we're getting them to the appropriate services. So Dr. Barley, this, this tells me that perhaps there are folks out there that are watching right now. And they say, you know, I've tried to figure out the source of my dizziness and I don't know. They didn't know that you have a, you know, a dizziness clinic. So you would be the guys to come to. What would you say to someone right now who said, you know, tried a lot of methods, nothing has worked. What would you tell them? Well, again, I feel like there are a lot of places that try to treat dizziness, but I feel like what makes us special, especially now that we've added additional equipment, we have a physical therapist in our office now that we send patients to if we know they have a vestibular weakness or one ear that doesn't work properly. And I, I feel like that we are now treating and evaluating all parts of the inner ear. So traditionally ENT and audiology practices did testing that we've done for 50 years and we looked at one or two parts of the inner ear. We now have the capability and the equipment and the expertise to test every portion of the inner ear to find what it is. Again, I think we all should feel very fortunate, advanced ENT and allergy because you're right, everyone wants answers and if you don't have a team of experts, hard to get to the to the bottom line here. So also, I think I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention Dr. Hay. You guys do a lot, and allergy season is here. And oh, if someone yeah. is suffering, you guys are the guys to call, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I want to thank all of you. Thank you so much. I really thank, appreciate thank you, you coming on. Yeah, this is a good team here. We had, we had fun, didn't we? Yeah. 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 All right, considering it was dizziness, as much fun as we could have, right? All right. We're going to take a little break here, and then coming up here. Okay, a lot of questions sometimes. Maybe you're at or near retirement, and you're thinking about social security. When should I take it?